when money realizes that it is in good hands it wants to stay and multiply in those hands do you know how money works money speaks only one language if you save me today i will save you tomorrow It's your girl Rita Wangoma. You can also call me Ritwam, which is the name of my channel. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Lagos. I'm a certified accountant and also a financial consultant. For my existing subscriber, thank you all. You guys are awesome. Thanks for supporting me. If you're watching this video for the first time, welcome. Thank you for coming. Yes. If you've not yet subscribed please click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video okay so i posted my first video last week which got us about 150 plus subscribers and over 800 views wow mind blowing thank you for your support thank you for those that shared my video for those that watched it for those that liked my video thank you for your support i appreciate it so let's say you're about to embark on that trip you want to make sure that you pack all the necessary things you need for the trip, right? Or you're about to write the examination. You want to prepare properly for the examination, well, so you won't fail. These cautious habits apply to investing, which leads us to the art of the discussion, which is things you need to know before investment. Let me ask you this question. What is your financial worth? Be an entrepreneur or a salary earner? And how do you manage this money? How do you plan for that money? For the entrepreneurs, do you separate your personal account from your business account? Do you? Let's talk about how you manage this money. Yeah. Some people live way beyond their means. Some people go for things they cannot afford. We Rogers once said that too many people spend money they earn to buy things they do not want to impress people they do not like it doesn't make sense people who go for their apartments just to impress their colleagues they go for that expensive car and just to impress that girl they go for that expensive phone just to belong to the clique of friends it doesn't make sense are you gonna get a medal for doing that you need to learn to manage your money based on what you have Another thing, never spend money before you earn it. To the salary earners, come closer. You know what I'm talking about. For those that buy things on credit and pay after you get your salary, it doesn't make sense. You need to learn to plan properly for your money. It's very important. Which will lead me to the next topic, which is before you invest, learn to pay yourself first. It's important to pay yourself first before any other expenses. This is the golden rule for personal finance, paying yourself first. I suggest 5% to 15% of your income. Put that aside, maybe an investment account or a savings account. This will help you to meet any financial plan or anything you want to use your money to do. Short term goals or long term goals. It's important when you cultivate that habit of paying yourself first. It will help you with ease, like no stress. If you keep building it for months, you can use that money, you know, and invest or use the money to meet any financial plans. So it's actually quite important to do that. Some people will ask me this question. And I know the question you ask me. How much am I earning? My money is too small. You need to do your homework. It's either you get, have other streams of income, yes, or you cut out your expenses. More money or you reduce your expenses. It's up to you. The next tip is, before you invest, have an emergency fund. Yes, so I talked about having an emergency fund in my previous video. So if you want to watch that video to learn about your emergency fund, I'll put the link of the video in the description box below. Please do check the video out to learn about having an emergency fund. The next tip is, before you invest, pay off your debt. In my opinion though, you need to pay off your debt so you can you know have a clean slate that's before you invest especially debts that has interest so you will not want to have be in a scenario where you use your interest on your investment that should come to you to pay a particular debt 
So it's important for you to come with a clean slate. Pay off your debts, move on, then face your investment. That's it. The next thing on my list is, before you invest, have savings. It's good to have savings to meet your short-term needs. You know your short-term needs. If you need to pay bills, if you need to pay your rent, or from other expenses that are within the short term. So it's good for you to have a savings to meet those needs. That's it. Another point to take note of is start early. You want to start your investment early. You don't want to wait for a particular age. Maybe your 30s or 40s. You don't want to do that. Start early. Whether you're a teenager or you're in your 20s, start early. And before you start early, you need to educate yourself. You need to read about investment. You need to read. You need to get educated. Know where you're investing. Know why you're investing. Know what am I investing? Why am I doing this investment? You need to have an investment goal. The investment goal will guide you to where you are going to, what I need to do, so you will stay focused. Whether you're going to go into a long-term investment or a short-term investment. Yeah. So my final tip is where to invest. The most important investment is invest in yourself. If you want to earn more, you need to learn more. You need to read books, go for seminars, go for training, get that skills. Self-development is important. You want to move to the next level. You don't want to remain where you are. If you remain where you are, you still earn the same money. But when you try to move to the next level, when you try to develop yourself, invest in yourself, things will change, more income will flow. So it's quite important to invest in yourself. And do not forget, if you invest in yourself, it will yield the highest return. Other options of investment are invest in your own business, very important. Invest in stocks, shares, real estate, mutual funds, and so on. This brings me to the end of my video. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, share to your friends. Bonus tip, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Do not put all your life savings in the bank. Please note that investment comes with risk. If you have invested before and you have failed, remember, failure doesn't define you, but only gives you an experience. Thank you.